uh, a couple of key things going back to building that team. You know, everything you do within real estate, you want to have that team perspective and you start to source the talent. Now, what a lot of us do, I believe in nepotism. I believe in us looking out for one another. I believe in any strategic advantage we can afford one another. We want to do that. But I also believe in us getting to the end result. So what you got to do is build a team of people like I, you, know, you got to build a team of people that are allow you go, that are going to allow and help and ensure in many cases that you get to the end result. So if we're buying a house to fix it and flip it, you know, to me, it's, 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 I tell people having a great agent, agents don't cost you money. Great agents make you money. You know what I mean? And if you work with agents that don't make you money, that's because you picked the agent based on, okay, that's your honor. That's your homeboy. They got a license. You didn't pick the agent that's going to bring you deals that you weren't going to get. You know what I mean? Unless y'all had that relationship. You didn't pick the lender. That's the best construction lender in the city. You picked your homeboy that, or your friend or, you know, some other affinity relationship that you may have. You pick that person who says I can do construction loans. It's a difference between, picking the working with the guy who's a 10 on construction loans versus somebody who does construction loans. Mm -hmm. And so you want to build a team of 10s in their respective fields so that now your hard money lender in, in the case of your hard money lender, like, so if you build some 10s, if you look pe for people that are the best of the best, now you don't have to figure out all these little strategies. Okay. Well, what's the best way to find a hard money lender? What's the best way to find this person? No, Find I, this is another thing I say to people: find people that are good at what they do, that are passionate about what, that are passionate about what they do, and pay them. Like that's the cheat code. Work with the best of the best and pay them, <laughs> and pay them like real talk. Like everything we want, we pay for, bro. And that, that's like literally, literally. Flex. you got to like you got to pay people what they value that what they work like, bro. Like we don't like you don't like you, like we went when I had like some of the best that one of the best rated stakes here in the city. We didn't sit down and say, okay, great, let's expect for the stake to come to us and us not. Have, no, we had to go to the place. They didn't send a car to get us. We had to go there and pay. You know what I mean? Because we wanted the best taste of steak in Denver. You, you understand what I'm saying? So you're trying to get see the challenge. I, this is what I tell people on investing. It's beautiful to have YouTube and free game. Mm -hmm. but you can't build a business, a sustainable business off free game and YouTube university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to him, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wish I, I mean, real, I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, it just don't work. Like, think about it. You want to be an investor, but you won't invest nothing. You want to invest in you. Like, see, here's the thing. It's not about knowledge. See, we we're, we never lack for the information, right? Okay, how do you wholesale houses? Go find a house worth a hundred thousand. Somebody will sell you for fifty. Okay, doesn't matter how. Just go find one. Then call people like us and say, "Hey, I got a house for fifty. It's worth a hundred. It need twenty. I want eight. Give me eight grand, and you can have it. I wholesale it to you, right?" Okay, that's wholesaling. Everybody know that, right? Now, you want to know why somebody won't hear that and just go do it? Because they didn't pay $1,000 in a course to learn what I just said in 30 seconds. So they, it cost them nothing to learn it. So because it didn't cost you anything to learn it, you associate no value to it. So because there's no value, you don't do nothing with it. Mm. It's not that we don't know. We go to events and seminars and stuff like that. It's not that you don't know the information. You know it. You just haven't made the decision to do anything with it. And so most times we don't make decisions to do anything until something actually costs us something. So again, free game, YouTube, all that's cool. But at some point you're going to have to invest in yourself in order to get the greatest return on your potential. Invest in yourself. That's a message. That's a 